It was the decision by the president of your neighbour, Burundi, last April to run for a third term, despite his country's constitution limiting to a maximum of two, which many believe sparked the crisis in that country, the chaos, the violence. Some worry about another Tutsi versus Hutu genocidal clash in Burundi. Is that a fear shared by the government of Rwanda? I think we need to be uh, very careful not to think of every African country as the next uh, neighbor. Yep. Uh, Burundi has its own situation, it's, it's got its own um, uh, style of leadership and the people of Burundi have to make their own choices. And, and when people make wrong choices, then they have to live with the consequences. What is Rwanda, what are you as a foreign minister of Rwanda doing to try and calm the situation in Burundi? The most important thing we did uh, was, was uh, to, well, to express our fears as well because we could see the violence uh, from the beginning. Um, and uh, the most important thing we, we've done uh, since the beginning of the crisis was to take care of uh, Burundian refugees. We have about 80,000 Burundians now living in Rwanda um, and as well work with the neighbors uh, to try and, and, and figure our way out. It's been very difficult, uh, I must admit, uh, but you know, Burundi is our neighbor, so we get affected one way or another. If Yes, and, and you, you mentioned refugees. Uh, earlier this year, a UN panel of experts published a report alleging that the Rwandan government had recruited refugees from Burundi, including children, uh, in a camp in eastern Rwanda, provided them with military training to try and overthrow the president of Burundi. What's your response to that UN report? First of all, if I wanted, if I wanted to overthrow a government, I would use my own army. I would not pick up children in a refugee camp. Uh, two... I think the fact that uh, Burundian refugees are in Rwanda, so many of them, um, both in the camps but also uh, urban refugees, um, uh, political people, um, military people, as it's been the case also in Tanzania, for example, there's always going to be trouble because the people who leave their country, in the case of Burundi, are not people who are friends uh, of, the, of the government, of the current government of Burundi. So these accusations, I think, for Rwanda, we were expecting them. Uh, it, it happened from the beginning of the But the, the UN panel of experts of interviewed refugees uh, from the Mahama refugee camp in eastern Rwanda who are telling them that we're being trained and armed by the Rwandan government. What do you say to that? You I'm, just deny it. I'm just using logic. Uh, logic does not support that the government of Rwanda, if it wanted uh, to, to overthrow or destabilize, would pick up kids in a refugee camp. Uh, Rwanda, deniability. Rwanda has, gives you deniability. Uh, Rwanda it enables has, you to say here today you've got Rwanda no has uh, uh, better and more effective ways of, of, of uh, causing trouble if that is what but the Rwandan the, government wanted. It's not just the UN. Again, your ally, the United States, says you've, you've been involved in destabilizing activities in Burundi. They've asked you to stop destabilizing Burundi. Again, uh, let's just say that what people say, what is in reports is not always true.